Hello boys and girls. Um, by this time, I think you already know that this channel is kind of dead. By like this, I never took it seriously because, well, I have some other issues in my life and some other more important things to do. Uh, well, this is my cat. His name is Toto. He's based on Giddy Studio, my neighborhood. Uh, my neighbor Totoro, and well, it's a little, little gray and friendly, super, super friendly cat. Um, well, <clears throat> uh, look, um, long story short, I think it's about two years. I don't upload any video, and that's why I can consider it dead. But so the fact. The fact was that a lot of things built up and ended up holding this whole situation. Uh, back in the day, when this channel was top activity peak, uh, I have a band. Um, we didn't even have an, an official name for, for it, but we did some thrash metal songs along with some of my more hard gothic metal project so as a kind of a mix but not a full mix of both because sometimes you cannot and I think well I think that there are two different styles that doesn't even match well but for some cases it works for example uh, the main theme of, of the project um, the, the ballad, so to speak, but it isn't a ballad, it's just a sad song about how a magician um, selected, um, elected to sing with uh, human life. <laughs> that was the thing. But yeah. And kind of, it kind of fit in the thrust metal as a weird ballad or, or so. And yeah. Then the COVID strike, and we cannot go to rehearsals. Our bassist left the band. <laughs> kind of insert Lars over here. He fucking left the band! And that, <laughs> that kind of, of joke. But yeah, the bassist left the band. Um, later on, the guitarist left the band as well. And so there was. There were only only the, the drummer and I. But obviously, you can see I'm guitarist and seeing that I'm more like I'm a mediocre mediocre guitarist and I try to sing, which I don't know which is better, which is worse. I mean, yeah, you get the idea. And so we kind of dissolved it. Uh, the only two members left. We we got to the agreement that it was better to let it die and fuck it out. But then, in the, in the meanwhile, and before the, the decision to, to put an end to our project, we sent some, um, some inscription thing to our, to our town hall which seems to like to help um, bands and they granted um, free rehearsal space uh, acoustically and, and that's how you can go there um, and, and do your thing, do your rehearsal session and then go back to home it was cool. So, uh, I have to send a demo of one of our songs, which was this ballad again, and a, let, a little biography for the band, how we meet, how we agree to, well, that long perorata that they like to ask you. And so we won the, the free rehearsal space 
and I contact uh, the drummer again and, and said, hey bro, we had, remember that, that um, petition that we did to the town hall? And I said, oh yes, I remember it, uh, what's, what's the matter with it? And then I said, uh, well, we won the free rehearsal space, so I think we shall give it a try. And search again for new musicians. And so we were searching for another guitarist and for another bassist with no luck. And we stand there for, for three months. Uh, it was a fun time because he and I called the focus on reaching new stuff, but in the end, it seemed to to that we didn't have the luck for to find new members for the band, and so there was another band in wait for that rehearsal space and I told back again and uh, sorry so again I contacted the, the drummer and said hey bro we are just me and I uh, you and I and uh, we didn't find musicians in, trans in three months so I hope that it will be better for everybody that we just gave up the free rehearsal space and give it for the next on the waiting list. So that's what we did, and then and then we decided to to put an end to the band, which was definitely the definite definitive an end to the project, and so. I moved on and I keep creating songs with my baritone and totally abandoned the thrusting and, and now with the down tune, got experience. Um, it's going, it's sorry, it's been a long, a long way because I have to read, write all the the song by myself, which means <clears throat> composing or write the guitar, the guitar riffs or the guitar melodies or whatever, programming the drums, programming the bass line, reading the lyrics, recording the lyrics, or more, that, more like reading the lyrics and then, and then another point, giving a melody that fits in the song for that lyric. Um, we have five points in our six, which is adding some cello to it, which I love the cello sound, and fits so well with my dance song thing. And then also some songs have piano. Um, yeah, I have to do the work of eight people, and that's, this is why it's taking too long. Uh, I hope that, <clears throat> I hope, sorry, I, I won't love that things will be, will be uh, pretty different, but things are what they are, life is how it is, and you have to roll with whatever the grand plan throws at you. <laughs> I don't believe in the, in the great plan, but you get the idea. And some things in this life you can control and some others that you don't because they depend on a lot of people and obviously we cannot force anyone to do what you do want unless unless you both or that, that group of people agree to it. Um, and that's the thing. So It was a pain in the ass for me, seeing how my project of thrust metal kind of boiled up, and then it seemed dying slowly and agonically. It hurt a lot, but I didn't 
I didn't really got depressed by that, so it was something that I considered from the first moment that it could happen, so I was prepared for it. <clears throat> so the thing that is just, uh, I, I then just focus on my solo project, um, Gothic Metal, and stuff, which I want to make an online band, so online and international band. So I mean, I am trying to hire some cello player, another guitarist, that, well, that another baritonist, <laughs> so the guy that plays the baritone guitar, and turns it to um, D standard and drop F, because that's the only two tunings I managed to to sit well on my side and, and, and my thing. Also, we are, we, we are, well, I am, because now I'm alone. So I am, way, I am looking for a drummer, and for a bassist. I think in, in this matter, the, the drummer will be the more easy guy to find. The second less easy will be the guitarist, because, well, a lot of guys, a lot of baritone guitars. But then, who on earth owns a bass that can turn to load? It's not an easy thing to do, it's not an easy guy to find. Um, that's, uh, that's the thing. So anyway, as I said, I will roll with anything that life throws, that life throws, throws, uh, throws is me, uh, yeah, doses, yeah, whatever. That other thing ha life has to me, I will just roll with it. Um, if there is no basis, there's no problem because we, I, I can program it. Um, that's the thing, so that's why this channel is dead and my band is dead and the only thing going on is my project which actually is named Wintertide Tears but I'm thinking I'm swapping the name to something more cool or something more fitting in the aesthetics of the general idea <clears throat> And well, that, that's it. That's all the thing. So yeah, that's why this is going, uh, this is taking me so long because I have to do the work of eight people. Um, I enjoy it, but this sometimes is frustrating because in a normal band with full members, you can just <clears throat> go to the rehearsal or, or go to a meeting with them and say, hey guys, Take it out, take this out. I got a new riff for idea for a song, and then you play it alone, and I listen, and it all comes suddenly alive in a short period of time. Because uh, while you are working on on any on a part of the song, the other guys once received this part can make. It can make this their parts to work with that. Um, another thing, and also I'm very limited to my programming skills. Well, not programming because I'm not a developer or software developer. You, mean, uh, you know what I mean? Programming in the DAO. So, MIDI programming and that. My skills are limited. As I have some experience drumming. In real life, it's not the same, and ne I never, I never ever uh, practice the the, the battery, uh, the, the battery, so the drum. Yeah, in Spain we call it the batteria, uh, which yeah sounds a lot like a battery from from an electric battery, but also uh, say batteria de cocina, which means your set of stuff to cook your food, <laughs> to cook your food. So it, it's, it's a funny thing with my accent, I'm sorry for that. But, 
the more you know, the more you can laugh, laugh with me, or of me, but I don't care, I'm used to it. Uh, so that's the thing. So I can make the guitars and then make the drums personalized to it. I am a very limited drummer because I never, never really practiced the guitar. I um, sorry, I never practiced my uh, drum. Uh, back in the day, 20 years ago, I had some skills to learn fast the, the drum. But since I wasn't practicing it every day, it's just like a, the, the drummer don't, didn't come today. Well, I can do two pa two pa and some easy breaks. And about the bass, well, it's just I've done more than two guitar, so it has just a fit on, on, the, on the guitar melody or the guitar rhythm. It doesn't matter. But yeah, the cellos and the piano is another whole thing. And it's hard. It's hard for me because I'm not a professional musician. Um, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I, I just wish I had a maybe pick up on the guitar and then I just play it all and it will accelerate my process quite a lot. But it's not the case and I have to go with whatever I have. So, well, I think this is long enough, uh, maybe too much rambling. I hope to all um, if you are still interested on, on my affairs with music and with other things I hope you at least got an answer for why this channel is there uh, I mean it never was good but at least it was fun at least that that's my point of view on, on, on the issue and well also I mean both as you know Guitar and computers is not my only hobby. I have role playing games and RC, radio control airplanes, which I totally love since I was a kid. Um, yeah, when I'm not with guitars, I'm doing another stuff, which also again builds a chain of delay and delay and delay and delay. I think I have to say sorry, but I don't really care about saying sorry because it's my fucking life. <laughs> I have to apologize for no one, but I make no harm. And also, well, um, the, I thought there was another part of my channel in which, in which I was sharing my my airplane's adventure. Maybe this year I could go back into it and recording with it, but yeah, I record of, or with TPC or with this phone, mobile phone, it's a crappy mobile phone, yeah, that's it. But uh, now I am studying again, so I'm going for robotics. It's been hard because I have to learn maths from zero again, because I forgot. I'm a 37 year old guy which didn't really work with his hair but with his hands and his back um, never did maths in quite a long time so it's been a talent it's been fun I'm enjoying it actually <clears throat> and I'm pretty pretty proud of my of my efforts and of my success because I have no, fi no failures right now. Um, I've been failing for my entire life and now finally I'm succeeding in something that matters for my current life and for my future. Um, it's the main priority right now. So also, then again, my music is kind of Put aside, but anyway, I find a balance where I can go to the classes and then make the homework, then studying, 
and then practicing guitar at least half hour a day so it's not that bad but i maintain my level of skills playing guitar and kind of reading things reading songs but i'm not getting any better because i lack the time but at least i'm not losing abilities which is the good point and i'm very proud of myself right now because i've never been able to balance a thing and yeah as i say it's going off failures at, at this rate and i'm putting a lot of the, a lot of effort and it's being <clears throat> really really satisfactory for me um, that's it or, or um all right there's a little, and there is a literally 20 minutes of you um, i'm going to love it to load it anyway anyway this never was a professional teller or whatever this was a silly guy from a random place in the world saying stupid things to a camera <laughs> hoping that someday he will reach more than 50 subscribers <laughs> and actually he dropped down to 11 <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care, and that's the main goal of this channel. It was for me to have fun. And it's been a lot of fun now that I remember. Yeah, I hope you guys and girls enjoy it. Sorry for being excessively, excessively um, dalkish, but. <laughs> That's all I am. That's all I wrote. I hope you like it and well, goodbye. Stay safe. Have fun. Be proud of yourself. And keep the way you are because you are cool. I am cool too, so there we go. <laughs> See you guys.